All right, YouTubers, here's a um, golf cart that we've picked up for very, very cheap. <clears throat> I'm going to try and um, see if I can revive these batteries. They are looking pretty terrible and swollen, but um, my main reason for doing this is just to make sure that everything else in the cart works and then we'll probably buy some new ones. Let's see how we go. So I met some salts that I picked up at the um, supermarket. This is, this is, all I can get was 375 gram pack, but um, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so the battery I've chosen, uh, unfortunately, is probably one of the better ones in the pack, but um, we'll um, see how this one looks. It's still got uh, water in it. And we've got about 6.8 volts in this one. Um, yeah, the other ones don't seem to have as much water and they're pretty dry and a lot more swollen but um, I'll wax them up some salts in this one and give her a charge up and see what happens all right it's got my funnel set up I'm just gonna put um, three heaped tablespoons of Epsom salts in each cell some water in there. Now you are supposed to use distilled water but um, I don't have any so I'm just going to use ordinary old tap water. Fill him up until you see a cat's eye or just until it touches the little droppers inside your cell there. Wipe the caps back on and give her a good shake. Oh, I can't really do this with one hand, so but yeah, give that a good shake to clean her up. I mean to mix it around and um So my infinite wisdom, I figured that this was a 12 volt battery, but in fact they are six volt batteries. So I've added the um the crystals to the second battery. I've run them in series. I'm getting 12.3 12 point, 12 volts, 12.29 volts across the two. Um, I have a CTEC MXS50 5 amp charger. Now this particular charger has got um, a desulfate cycle and a whole heap of other functions on it. Um, I've got it on set on recondition. So um, let's um, charge him up and see how they go. Right, so it's the next morning. Charge is finished charging. We're sitting on about 13.43 volts. I'll just disconnect this thing. I'll we'll see if it holds the voltage. So it's dropped straight to 3.2, 13.26 and it's slowly dropping. <coughs> Alright, we'll go back to that one. But over here I've done the same thing with the Epsom salts to every one of these cells. I don't like my chances with this one here, it's 4 volts, this one here is 1 1.2. I'll probably get this one back, it's at 6, and that one's at 4 as well. But um, I'll charge them up and um, we'll give it a go anyways. All right. Okay, so back again. It's been sitting here for the whole day. And it's holding quite steadily at 12.4. Now that's not brilliant. 
but um, it's definitely better than it was to start with. Um, back over here, I'm not having any luck with this one at all. There's a dead cell over here. Um, I'm only getting four and a half volts out of this one, but all the rest of them there are cranking up over the six volt mark, six and a half, seven volts. So um, I'll keep the charging going and um, with a bit of luck, I'll be able to test this thing. All right. All right, so I've connected it all back up. It's gone from 24 volts to just on 36. This cell here is basically stuffed. So um, I'll take it for a bit of a spin. I've just rolled it off the trailer. Forward. On. Let's go. And it's got bugger all juice. But it goes, that means the motor is good to go. And reverse is working fine. Excellent. Oh, thousand bucks, new set of batteries. All good to go. Thanks for listening.